Boss Express Train, darling. As you can tell, I'm sitting alone. No, I'm not. I'm sitting with someone special. Woohoo! Hey, Fox Nation. Fox Nation on the Dr. Fox Express. This is my sister, Dr. Fox. Yes, good night, Dr. Fox. I've been hearing this stuff about tagging in your sister. What, what? So my sister asked me, she's about to go to London tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? Because give birthday a high. Give birthday. It's my birthday! Happy birthday to Tata Fox. I'm gonna celebrate her birthday by um featuring on her show. I mean what yes. a better gift birthday gift than me being up in her. And one um popo tile jang um ponzi take ya ponta. Guys today my bonam Phyllis can you can you? I want to look. I want to look doctor. I don't know if I do makeup. I can't even do makeup. I'm not looking at you. She's even pushing me out of shots. Come on, 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 Taking your time, you're too slow. Well, you know that I'm balling on a budget. I'll only drink more weight. We day. don't ball on a budget when I'm around. Turn the hour to be patient. I don't trust the patient. Let's go, woman. Fellas. Woo! Happy! Happy! Right, that's how you push your pain. I was gonna pour it right. Are you gonna do it? What do you think this is here for? Bona come to I'm a. I'm gonna or. I'll tell her. We shall go angel. Guys. Hey. Scott Cloud. Scott Cloud. You. 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 What? What done? Let the bubbles go to your hips. Yeah, but I haven't eaten lunch. And the years go to your hips. No, I don't want the years in my hips. The hip. The years go to my. Boobs. No. Yeah, I rather have bigger boobs and bigger hips. Yours means saggy boobs. But it's cool. I, I got a hookup for you for your saggy boobs. I got a hookup for all of y'all. If you got saggy boobs, I got the hookup. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to Tato. Um, what's going on, ma? Tato Fox. Tato Fox. I, I get it. I was the original fox. So I get a sometimes when somebody's been stealing my name. But cheers. I want to wish Tato Fox a beautiful birthday. I hope that as she gets into her 30s, am I allowed to call your age? Yeah, I don't really care. Okay. That um, she flourishes, that she becomes more prosperous, that money likes her and loves her and licks her all over, and that um, she becomes the woman that she wants to become, the mother that she is can amplify so that Bayanda and our nephews and nieces can um, flourish. flourish and do better. I don't know what to say anymore, but cheers, happy. guys! Happy! I love you. I love you too. And I want to say that I'm proud of you. I want to say that because get more TV. Kala wa kala ha. On that note, go for a gift in your name. Oh yes. Oh yes. Sipeti birthday. These are people you must invite to your channel. What about your presents? Yeah, and I give a tough present because I know like you share a birthday with she shares her birthday with her son. So sometimes he gets a little bit like a uh, king. He takes the spotlight. So today because Kishaba get his spotlight because of her, I was like Eric Mufe birthday gift. So happy birthday. Thanks, fellas. Mwah, lipstick, yay, Rashuta. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't open it on camera. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Okay. Oh, mom got bored. Did anybody now? Never. Yo, Maria Chissa. Okay, guys. So this is a Ask Miss Fox segment. As you know, we're going to get into the questions. We're not going to take long. Phyllis, can you move a little bit that way? You're actually pushing me out of shot. I know you like you like it, but look, you, you, you are leaving blank space next to you. Okay, let's get into the first question. Right. So the first question. I think I should not drink for this. Sorry, I'm going to stop drinking, guys. I mean, I never started, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to drink so I can take your question seriously. Oh, no, no. Come on. I'm back with some water. Okay. Hi, Tato. I have a question for the doctor in the house. So, I'm so excited to finally meet her. I need help with my sex drive. 
I ha I think Phyllis doesn't want to answer six questions, guys. But what about because good doctor? Ne? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I don't have ex I don't have experience except for hands-on experience. Tavalano, Tavalano, eh? Okay, let me drink my water. That time she's older than me, guys. Anyway, I've been on the oral contraceptive Yasmin since I was 20. I'm now 28. And my sex drive has taken a bigger dip. However, I find that when I'm not taking the pill or taking in or taking the inactive pills, you know, in the packets, when she goes on the days where you, you know you're not meant to take the pills, during that time she's aroused easily and wants to have sex a whole lot more. I have a three-year-old daughter who, as you can imagine, was a conceived when I took a break from the pill and I was really up for sex. I would like another baby in the next few years, and I don't know. I don't want to be on a long-term contraceptive. My husband is super awesome and understanding, but I fear that this may create tension between us. Please help. Well, if you want to have a baby, you need to stop the contraception. You see, the thing about contraception is that it regulates your hormones. And we all have different... Yo. <laughs> Autotic stress. I didn't know this was so serious. This is uh, the problem with contraception. Take two, take two, take two, take mm -hmm. two. So the first question is a little bit out of my depth because I'm not a gynecologist, but based on my medical school knowledge, I can tell you the following. The most important three things that I can think about at the moment that affect your sex life, and uh, it seems like you're speaking about your libido, and not just your libido, but also the medical implications of, um, taking, the of taking the contraception, is number one, stress. So you've got to eradicate stress out of your life. Stress affects not only your sex hormones, it increases the inflammatory response in your body, it pretty much dis depresses your immune system, mm -hmm. and if you've got a lot of stress going on in your life, you can best believe that it's going to be hard to get it out. Then secondly, you actually need to look at the type of contraception that you're taking. Yeah. So oral contraception, otherwise known as COC, cuck, yeah, it's called cuck. That's nasty. You yeah. don't have to those when you take your cock, <laughs> you take your cock. <laughs> That's what we call the oral contraceptive. It's called your cock. When you take, <coughs> you your, take cock, your cock, you need to speak to your gynecologist and see which one is best for you. Some are high in estrogen, some are high in progesterone. Um, estrogen and progesterone play an intricate role in how your libido functions mm. as well. So you need to see which one is best for you. I can't say for certain the levels that. Um, Estrogen, the levels of estrogen or progesterone in Yasmin per se, it is one of the most popular contraceptions, yeah. but there are a lot of other ones out there. Remember, you don't have to restrict yourself to oral contraception. There are a multitude of different contraceptions. The there's the patch, patch. Yeah. the injection, there's the injection, um, there's the loop, but obviously those are a little bit more longer term. So I wouldn't advise you take the loop if you want to have a baby soon. I would say continue on your contraception, but... Oh, condoms! Mm, or condoms, yeah. Condoms but I mean, don't condoms, have a lasting. But con condoms rely. The thing I don't like about condoms is that it relies on. Condoms doesn't like condoms, basically. <laughs> Mama watches this, ne? <laughs> you said it. That's what you said. The thing I don't like about condoms. And you didn't let me finish. <laughs> Go finish up. Finish, 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 finish. The thing I don't like about condoms is that it takes the power away from the woman. Okay. And it makes it about the man. So that means that the responsibility is on the man to always be the one to have it. Okay, fine. There are women, not many to be really honest, who walk around with condoms and say to their partner, here, use a condom. And there's a female and, condom. And there's a female condom, which is also very unpopular and very, it's like, it's not nice. and clumsy. It's and clumsy. It takes away, like the mood yeah. so if you're already struggling with like mood this big. i wouldn't say take the form the femdom i don't suggest you take the femdom i would say continue with your cock and when you're taking your cock just make sure that you're taking the one that's best suited for you and like i said there's multitudes you just need to speak to your gynecologist unfortunately or actually very fortunately i'm not a gynecologist so i can't really advise you on which one is best for you because um you know to each their own and we all have different responses to our to the contraception. The third thing, so first is stress, get rid of stress. Second is that the contraception does play around with your hormones, you have mm -hmm. to check. The third thing, I can't remember what I was gonna say, but <laughs> it's, all <good. laughs> it's all good. Next question. Next. All right.
right, we got a girl called Patty. Patty's been dating a guy for two years and we broke up at this January because he never wanted to be serious. He would go MIA and just very distant. I never understood why I was the most caring girlfriend ever. Now that we've broken up, he's the most attentive person ever. He'll call me and text me constantly every day ever since the breakup. Every time I address the issue of why we can't get back together, he always dodges the bullet. But the way he is now with me, it's like he's a boyfriend. I'm just so confused. I want to string him along or it's, oh no, I want to know, does he, is he stringing me along or is he playing me, is he playing games with me? Am I even the side chick? Should I just delete his number and forget all about him? I'm lost guys. Please help me. He is playing you for a fool. He is. Beautiful. Pretty much what he's doing with you is this. Baby shark. Exact the mundo. Baby shark. He's doing that to you, girl. Baby shark. And I know it's not nice to hear. Because all he's doing is this. He playing with you like a yo-yo. I don't think that's cool. Pretty obvious what this guy's doing. I mean, like men are, in my opinion, hey, not to have a Fox Nation in the bunch of internet, but I'm a liar for what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's just my opinion, right? When a man loves you or cares for you or wants you, he makes it known. Simple as that. Moves mountains, anything else mountains, that's rivers. in between, yeah, anything else is in between. He's not available. He only likes you when you're not there. He only wants to be a part of your life when you're not really part of your life. He wants the milk, life. but he doesn't want to buy the cow, basically. Nah. Nah. No, nah, Delhi. Nah, nah, you need nah, to cut nah. the loser and it's get also, a winner. It's also. Cut him. Scaro. This price is way okay, too high. Not, you need to cut him. Okay, no, but it's, it's a lot easier to say that. It's easy, but let me tell you something. It's when you meet that. a man, who worships the ground you work on, you walk on, and a man who's willing, who is like, what? You be just a friend. Girl, if you don't come here and be my woman. Yeah, man. That's the kind of a nigga man. you want. That's a man. A, a man wants you to be a part he, of his life. Yes, he take you and he throw you over his shoulder. He couldn't take and he tell every, Exactly. He tell everybody around him that this, this man is trick. my woman. Yes. Ain't nobody messing and touching this, this woman. I don't say no. bitch, but. So, if you're gonna meet a guy so, who's half-hearted, Yes, if you're gonna meet a guy who's half-hearted about the situation, it's not sure if he wants to be in a relationship with you. It's not it's iffy iffy girl. You need to be with a man who knows that this here is mine. This like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings, my precious. That's what he needs to do with you. And if he's not like that with you, cut a losses, get somebody who will until he wakes up because all of this golden schmolden beauty fox nation passenger is not waiting for somebody to wake up i see one i'm male and you deserve no, that would be better be incest. yeah we'll be incest that's true that would be incest. but you deserve better and you're not out we're not we are not out in the streets to teach men how to love us we're tired of that y'all no. we're tired of teaching these niggas how to treat us but it always starts with you if you gonna let some other woman's child treat you like a second rate citizen of yourself then unfortunately you're allowing that to happen yeah so until you step up your own game and start treating yourself as a first class citizen then only will he do the same because someone famous who i can't remember once said something that i can't remember yeah well people should treat you the way you, you allow, allow them, them to, to treat, treat you. you and if somebody so shows you the eye once don't let somebody them. treat you like shit or like an option or like an option because if you're just an option to somebody who you is not a, who's not an option to you then obviously your priorities are a little bit skewed yeah boo and you want them a little more than they want you and yes. you're just their option don't be nobody's option sis you know the biggest thing my mom ever taught us or taught yeah taught us is that your husband your man needs to love you a little bit more than you love him and just a little bit because if a man loves you a little bit more, he'll be willing to do everything and anything for you, okay? But now in your situation, it looks like you like this guy more than he likes you. Girl, cut it. All right, Phyllis is gonna read. So this is a question from Anonymous. Yeah, <laughs> you thought I was gonna say was, her name. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I'm dating this guy from my hometown. And we, why am I putting on an American accent? And we oh, have we a good thing, thing going okay. on. Okay. Good thing going on. <laughs> Okay, I believe we have actually a great future together and of course we have issues like mm -hmm. any other couple. 
kindly moved to a, another city, which is approximately 45 to 50 minutes away mm -hmm. from where I come from and from where my boyfriend is. So basically we're about one hour apart. All right. I'm a girl in varsity and we meet people and we have more friends in varsity, we go out, we have fun. Mm -hmm. Something that my boyfriend isn't much into mm -hmm. um, and it's not really in his line of work. Okay. By the way, he's 34 and I'm 21. He never really gives me a valid reason as to why we never go out. And he's also not into trying different things sexually. He's not as exploring and as adventurous as I am. And basically, to cut a very long story short, she meets this other guy. She kisses him in their apartment. They go back to the room. And then, damn! Boom! Fifty Shades kind of shit. We did things. We did the things. Then make the pots. And then after, I thought to myself, no, it's not such a huge issue, right? It's just like it happened once. And we agreed with this guy, obviously, that it will never happen again. Mm -hmm. And we had no issues with chilling at my place. And then, like, we were just friends, so we kind of let it go. Then this one day, I got it again. Girl, stop. No, for real, she got it again. Anyway, he hits all the right spots. He's your spillion. He's, he's, you know when women do this, he's doing this he's to you. He's your spillion. <laughs> Um, and we're all at the Fifty Shades kind of zone. So anyway, to summarize it all, I feel comfortable around him. We explore things that I like sexually. We're both sex freaks. And I'm worried now. What if this becomes more than what, it, what it, like we bargained for? What if we get attached yeah, and because forget the fact, that, the fact that we both have our own relationships outside of this? I know that we're both in the same boat with regards to having partners who are so not into exploring sex as much as we want to. Wow, wow. Damn. Bazooka, za. People got problems out here. People out here having sex. <laughs> <laughs> People out here. Tomalano. Tomalano. Go, Babizi. Guys, ish. And I know for sure my mom's gonna watch this one because it's me and Phyllis. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Right? Can we talk I just about think, anesthetics? No, no, can we just say, can I just say that I just really think I'm an anesthetist. you're pushing me off the fucking screen, yo. Thank you very much. You're still in shock. Look at you. Oh, okay. I thought I should be like, no, and... no, no, no. Listen, guys, I, I, I honestly feel, for me, I'm very much not, I'm very much against someone hooking up with somebody else when you're in a relationship with somebody else, okay? Yeah, I think for me, it's quite simple. Like, you need to Eric break Fates. up with that, okay? I'm your older sister. Eric Fitz. What I'm thinking is that I really can't, like my conscience just can't let me like give you advice about creeping because I just think it's wrong. I've been hurt by that. Has been hurt. I mean, we all been there. Chloe Kardashian right now, if she's watching this, she been there. Hey, Chloe, Chloe. We feel you, Chloe. Hey, Chloe, Chloe. Hey, we see you, girl. We hear. So I, I really can't condone like that kind of behavior. At the end of the day, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with your partner. It's okay, like, if you feel like you're not where you want to be with your partner sexually, but like most things in life, when you're adulting, it all starts with communicating. Boom! If you can communicate with your partner, if you communicate and you tell your man what you want, if you're somebody who is understanding, he'll try it. Maybe once, twice, and if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, you know? But you should be willing to teach each other what you like. And I won't lie, sex is a very important in a relationship. It's not something that's not important. Not when you're 21, I'm man. <laughs> okay, fine. Not when you're 21, but it's my thing, my point is it's important. It's, a, it's an important, it's an important. 21 is when you're figuring out what you like in sex, Phyllis. You 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 you're figuring out what you like. That's for your 30s. No, it's not. Save for your 30s. No, <laughs> figure yourself out. Know what you Save like. Save for your 30s. And, and, and if you're married, marriage. Can't do it. Save it for marriage, Mama. Never. You, Mama, that one was you gotta test drive the car to know if it drives. Uh -uh. When you got a ring on your finger, then you can test drive. No, no, no. You gotta test drive the cars, know how they drive, and then you can pick a car. How about you? you, you what do you mean? You wanna you wanna when go you somewhere and then wait, you wanna, wait, you wanna wait, find wait, out your wait. man's a punch buggy? Oh wait a minute. When you take when you go to the dealership, first you decide for yourself whether you're gonna go to the Range Rover, you're going to go 
for a Nissan, for a Navanza. But how are you going to so know that? First, no, 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 that's my point. My point is you first start by saying, this is my man. These are the different people that you, these are different options that you're going to go for. If you're going to walk into Mercedes Benz, you already know what you get. But what if it's an entry so level, a test entry drive. level Mercedes Benz? What if it's a an test drive entry is level? Just in J. A no. test drive is just a part of the package. No. Most of the time you already know what you want when you walk into the dealership. No, I, I get it. I get it. But I don't Relationships think. Relationships are I so much more than sex. I don't think you can. There, there are so much more than sex, but there are, sex is important. Sex is important. Sex is important. She won't talk because she know mommy. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. You can turn off now. <laughs> but the point is, is that you need to be able to be comfortable with your man to bring out the freak in you. And if you can't do that, then you need to have a conversation with your nigga. And if your nigga say no, then you need to realign and rethink if you're in the right place. Because your man can do everything for you, but if you are bored and you don't enjoy your sex life, that's how people step out of their marriages and out of their relationships. Sort yourself out, sort him out, communicate, explore, Discover yourself slow with yourself and your partner, not with other people. Yes, with your partner. Figure out with your partner. You, you don't have what? to be married. You know what? You know what? You I'm gonna marry this. You know, you know, no. women talk about this. You gotta be Asuka. You know what? People like to pretend like there's something wrong with being married first, and there's nothing wrong with it. No, there's not. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being married because the funnest, safest, most vulnerable space sometimes it's actually in a marriage it to is be honest. it is it's because true because you and your husband you and your husband hi babe i know you can't see that it's me but it's me it's every time that it comes around i end up looking like a different person my husband's just like <laughs> who, that who is? this what i'm saying though is that there is a space in marriage to explore and i'll tell you something try to block your ears y'all need to go on this website it's called omgyes.com. It's two ninety nine a month. No, no, no. It's two ninety nine. Once off fee, and you and your partner can discover a lot of very educational things. And the thing I like the most about it, block your ears, Tato. Get out of the shot. OMG yes, okay. OMGyes.com. It helps you to explore yourself and for your partner to help explore you. So it's just for the ladies. And now what happens in OMGS is that what I really like about it is that it's research based. So it's a real woman with real cookies. It ain't none of this porn stuff you see on Pornhub where it's like all like looking like plastic and stuff. It's a real cookie and like it, it just go do yourself a favor, go on omgyes.com. I think it's about 299 Rand for a once off fee and you get to like really do some really nice things. Yeah. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna. My colleagues are gonna be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, well, let's get it, eh? Hey! Right, I next question. Patience. Yeah, your patients don't know you. Yeah, but, no, yeah, no, no, no. Like no, like look like this. No, no, look like this. Hi, Miss Fox. I'm currently in the United States and I'm vibing with a guy all over, all the way from South Africa. I recently came here on a student visa and I might only come home when I graduate in four years. He's doing a finance year and his finance year, his final, sorry, but that's how she wrote it. She said finance. She's final year in medicine. Damn, why are you so angry? No, because I look like I'm the crazy dyslexic when they write the wrong thing. Problem is, he's really starting, um, problem is I'm really starting to like him and he's showing signs too, but I don't know if dating him would work since he's so far from each other and there's obviously a lot of girls willing to date in there i've got trust issues help me what to do what would you do sure please? i've never been in a long-term relationship i do know that it's hard but i'm gonna do like the honorous thing to do or the honorable thing to do and pass the buck answer that question this must be on right that's her spillion long-term relationships are i just want to sit here and look pretty and drink my water yeah water so guys I, I really think that if you're in a long-term relationship, you have to be in a, in a relationship with somebody who is willing to make the work. If you're with somebody who is not also sure about what he wants, can you stop? I, I'm watching you in the thing like, geez, Louise. I've never looked so pretty, y'all. <laughs> you, you need a book tattoo for everything, okay? For hair, because it's hers. For eyes, lips, everything. It's hers. Even my baby is not gonna recognize me. <laughs> no, Abby, this is for you, baby. There. 
and you have said, "Ooh, I love you." Can so you stop giving a little shout out on my channel? <laughs> relationship is about people who want to make it work if you want to make yeah, it work and you, make, easy. and you and you meet someone who is in the same passion about being with you you guys will always adjust each yourself to make the relationship work it's not easy you go to date you, you go out and people they couples you but there's always FaceTime there's always phone calls you involve each other as much as you can I literally for my man and say I'm stepping out the house like I would when I'm with him because I want to include him in my life and that's the only way to make a long-distance relationship work but if you guys think that's too much for you then long distance is not gonna work for you because long distance is a lot of work and it's commitment and it's trust can I just say though that it sounds like she's not hundred percent in it like they're still kind of exploring that is not for you you were giving advice to people who just started out like how you and scott had just started out what would you say not oh, when i saw scott i saw they, when i saw scott i saw a husband from day two okay not day one day two i saw a husband we spoke all day every day on the phone the things he said were in line with the things that i wanted and the things that i believed in we were i saw a husband and that's why Trying so, to hide my double chin, yo. Your double chin. Yeah, we eat here on the Fox channel. I we eat. Good, la la. We, yeah, I, 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 I. Hi, Tato. I'm so delighted to meet your sister. This is my story. I'm trying to teach my little baby how to wave. So this is. Hi. For mama. you, Mwahi. Hey, baby. I'm HIV positive and I've been for a while. I started treatment and I have the virus under control. Four years ago, I met my current boyfriend who is a doctor like you. Do you know him? I might. Do you know him? I might know him. Hmm. I, I would hate that question. Do you know? I know. No, it's like girl. being American. I was like, yo, you're from South Africa. Do you know Smang Mang? And you're like, no, brother, I don't. No, Africa is a, is a continent. It's not a country. All right. And immediately I disclosed my status. Yay. Good on you. Damn. We were well using done. condoms initially until we decided to stop when we moved in together. He started taking treatment as well, although he's HIV negative. That's, That's good. good. I believe him, but the logic behind this doesn't make sense. Dr. Fox, can you please school me and the Fox Nation how it's possible for him to remain HIV negative all this time? I understand that my viral load is undetectable. Yes. Therefore, chance well of infection done. Are slim yes but why did he start taking treatment as well hope this question makes sense tato darling you are the bomb don't come yeah, love, blah, you, blah, 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 love blah, you baby blah, blah. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah we hear you fox nation blah blah fan stan stan uh, okay, anyway i really really like that question i think that's such an informative educational question that's and a bomb, like a good question that's to a end bomb on. question that's a bomb question to end on i hope i don't fuck this up <laughs> <laughs> But mom's listening and you be together fuck fuck. It's only because you do it. <laughs> okay. But so anyway, you hope you don't mess this up. Uh, yeah. What I want to say is there's like two really important things I want to give you a big up on. And it's gonna make me a little bit emotional because obviously I'm a doctor and like, you know, these are the kind of things that like tug at my heartstrings. But freaking hell, well done. Well done to you for like being positive about your positiveness okay i'm out here on some we need to like get that stigma out of the way uh -huh. so fuck the stigma well done to you uh-huh um you're doing a really really great job on taking your power back well taking your power back yes. exactly but also taking your arvs i mean it's not easy it's not easy freaking hell i struggle with the seven day course of antibiotics but you so i'm you're trying to get thyroids i forget one, my pill in the morning we're gonna, and have a, we're gonna have another segment talking about dieting fats and shit that it can lend yeah anyway moving right along. so many people with any form of illness and chronic disease if you're if you yeah if you're okay with me calling it a chronic disease i'll call it that um find it very difficult to just take their meds so freaking well done to you. I'm gonna have a sip of champagne on you. 
Dali, you make me proud. I'm proud of you and well done. And then the second thing is, or the third thing, I can't remember the numbers. Well done on telling your partner and being honest. That's also not easy. You are like my inspiration going into the week. You are like, I'm here Girl for you. Girl power. So well done for being courageous and telling the truth. How ARVs work is similar to how you, you expanded in your question. Your viral load is undetectable. Mm. That's amazing. That means, that shows us as clinicians, as doctors, as healthcare professionals, that you're taking your medication, that you're doing a freaking good job at it, and that you're pretty much killing the virus every single day. that virus so well done to you so now remember transmission can happen in three different ways three. And one of the most important ways or the ones that's most common for us with H with the HIV version or type that we have because there's HIV type 1 and type 2 the version that we have you are um, obviously making sure that the sexually transmitted version is averted or decreased by your low viral load what comes together with the low viral load is a high CD4 count CD4. I feel like I'm the Migos. Are you? Uh, 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 fucking uh, hype man. I'm, I'm the Migos. Uh, 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 I'm ad living. I'm here She's in the back. The hype, hype, hype man. And I'm busy pushing her out. I'm like, <laughs> we need a Dr. Fox section. Like, a session in J. You need to ask me all your I'm questions. I'm not consistent. Yeah, I'm busy. 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 i so what I was saying is, so your CD4 count goes up and your viral load goes down. Very good. Down, down. It is very possible for your partner to have not contracted the illness or the, the HIV, let me rather call it the virus, to have not contracted the vi virus because of how good you are at you are a taking your medication. You are a because how low your viral load is and how high your CD4 count is. Damn, I'm getting into it now. Damn! All right, take them to church. Preach! Take them to church. Hallelujah. So well done. And so it's okay. And it actually explains why he's not HIV positive. Uh -huh. There is something called um, PEP, which is... I can't like PEP, but, but the other way but around. But not the store. It stands for prophylaxis, pretty much. Prophylaxis something. something exposure prophylaxis. Tata will put it in her comments once I remember what it stands for. No, you gotta do work. But yeah, you gotta work. You gotta Google. Um, but what that does is, if someone is, is with someone who has the virus, they take antiretrovirals, so ARVs, very similar to the ones that someone with HIV takes. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it primes that person's immune system to be here yeah. and their CD4 count cells to be, yeah, pretty much to prevent him from hey! getting. When the, uh, when the virus comes, hey! Hey, hey! I can't take you seriously. Every time. Your virus decides to go whoop, it's high. Yes, Bambile. Yes. Because usually your CD4 count is. And then when the child opens his eyes, but well, bala, but a taboo. Me? Taboo? And it's. I got taboo, taboo. That's end of the month party. The, the, the virus is like this. So when you take the, the, the medic and antiretrovirals, ne? It, gets, it gets your immune system to be hallelujah like yes. this all the time exactly so which is why he could obviously not be getting the virus from you and that's good because it means if you guys ever want to have children then you guys will be able to probably have an hiv negative child yes. there's nothing wrong with having an hiv positive child and no. there's nothing wrong with being hiv positive yep, yep. but all that means is that your child at least you know will not be on lifelong medication uh -huh. but big ups to you girl we give you a round of applause Round of applause, round of applause. You are the number you are the number one subscriber oh, today. Makes me so emotional. I'm just this is the end of the Tato Fox ass Miss Fox. This is the reason Miss Fox. I don't even know why I'm doing the I'm outro. The I don't know why okay, I'm doing the outro. the outro for y'all. Get out of my view. Okay. Okay. So this has been a ride and a half. I'm out here on some ooh with my water. With my water. I want to say happy birthday to my sister, Tata Fox, and to my nephew, Bayanda. Y'all are just, to me and my family, we love you so much. I want to dedicate this day to you. The 1st of March will always be and always is going to be the international day of Tata Fox and Bayanda. And I'm so proud of everything that you're doing. And I love my sister. And I love what she's doing with you guys. And Fox Nation, I'm here with y'all. And enjoy the fucking train, y'all.
cute and don't forget to like to comment to tell your friends and if you like this maybe I'll be back but I give a little bit like a tobalano don't forget the bomb to Bye guys. Yes, tonight it's Bye on. Bye guys. Yo, yo, it's on tonight. Mama. Hilton. Hilton, I'll see you, baby. <laughs> <laughs>